Okay, this here is the mixing bowl that I had in the previous video. And I got it on to my mount. You can see kind of how I did it. I have zap straps on there right now holding it on. That's not the, the wisest choice. Uh, I think I might put some metal wire to secure it more. A lot of my uh, stuff I have up at the cabin, so I don't really want to buy it twice. As you can see underneath, it does a good job covering, and then when I paint it black, everything looks uh, much more sophisticated. Now, I had a problem here. The bolts, this, this hump right here, and there's a hump uh, right there. I don't know if you can see that. That was from the actual alternator, the part that secures it on through to here. So I had to cut a hole in it. And then what I did is I wrapped some electrician tape over it, and then I, then I coated it. I'm not too happy about that. I'd rather use some kind of uh, muffler tape or muffler aluminum tape. But as you can see, it's kind of set up. I'll give this spin around. So I've got the uh, the tail part, and it's made from those mounts you see on um, your table saw, like a little portable table saw. These are the legs, and then I just threw a coat of black paint on it. The only paint I had around was actually stovetop paint, which is really expensive, but it's the only thing I had. So I uh, put that on. So I'm pretty happy. Put a brace down here. Secured it with two bolts. All right. Thought I'd attach the blades to the hub. See how it just balanced out. I haven't put all the blades in their position. Like this one's supposed to be moved down, this one's supposed to be moved up, and this one moved up. I just don't have enough space right now in my workshop. The blades are quite big and they tend to um, hit anything that they can find. So I'm pretty happy though how it works. I think the balance is pretty good having a long tail to continue the theme on of this turbine being made from recycled stuff. This is a callowing that came off a garage door opener and I took a hammer and pounded it flat and I'm going to use this for my tail fin. This part here is actually a piece of inch and a half PVC and I secured it on and the shaft is inside that. Just thinking it kind of keeps some of the water and elements out. So 